this is my first book review in the bookworm team. Um, I would also love to hear everyone else's. So you're welcome to, you can record it as a video and upload it, or you can type it in, um, however you want to do it, as long as the um, platform allows it to work. So I think it was like video or typing it is the two options. But if you want to speak it, but not be on camera, just do it as a video, but face your camera to a wall or the floor or something, because that works too. And, and I've, I've managed to do a pretty background. Look at that. You know me, I like a bit of green and nature and things going on around us. So the first book that we did was The Home Edit Life. And I don't think it was the best first pick because I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't feel like there were very many actionable steps in there. I felt like it was a lot of I guess like organizational porn is probably the best word. Like it was lots of, oh, this looks pretty and this looks pretty. But the majority of people don't live in houses like that. The majority of people don't have that amount of stuff that they want to keep and that looks nice and just magically falls in into a rainbow. Um, so I, I don't think it's a very realistic concept. It's very pretty. And the ladies that wrote it have a Netflix show and it's quite pretty to watch. I didn't like the second series as much as I liked the first series because I feel like it evolved in a way that I enjoyed. And I don't feel like they've talked about organization enough. And let's be honest, that's the bit I like the most. Pretty always comes after it being practical. Um, and I don't feel like a lot of it was hugely practical unless you had a lot of high quality stuff in a variety of colors and cleaners to come and like clean it all and look after it and maintain it all for you. A lot of it doesn't look hugely maintainable um, unless you have additional assistance, but they do have a lot of famous clients that have big houses and lots of space. And I also think a lot of it doesn't translate to other countries um, or even other parts within that country. Like they don't tend to do many small spaces uh, even some of the small spaces are still fairly big spaces. There was one in the recent TV show, there was one little girl's bedroom that was on the smaller side. She had so much stuff and they said it nearly kind of broke them. But actually, that would be the normal equivalent for most people. So I don't feel like it's very realistic. It's very pretty. It's more a coffee table book of organisational inspo as opposed to like the advice and guidance to be able to achieve it in my opinion and if I got it it would probably spur me on to go and get another book and learn more so it might be a really really good starting point but it was a bit wishy-washy I don't feel like the actual edit of the book was very good either it would just like cut off in the middle of a sentence, what felt like in the middle of a sentence anyway. And I was a bit like, well, where did that go? Like it was a very abrupt stop in lots of places. And I don't feel like they filled out enough detail. So that's what, that's what I thought of that. But we have a new book that we will be starting from May. And um, for those of you that want to join in with the next books and things, I do have them. If you go into the bookworm team and then in the top right hand corner, there's an about section. And if you sort of click on the more bit, it will bring up the next few months of books. So the next book we are doing is Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. Um, taking us in a completely different direction um, topic wise for the books and um, not decluttering related. Uh, so I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a change. So that will be the next one. I've been on the wait list to get it at the library for ages. I like reading on my Kindle, but I did this one on my Kindle and I was like, oh, kind of want to put some pictures up with me with the book. Be able to show you that I've actually got the book. Um, but if the library don't find it soon, then I might have to do the Kindle one. So hopefully I'll be able to pop to the library soon and give them a poke and be like, where's the book? But do you feel like you don't have to wait to the end of the two months to give it a review if you read it earlier, if you find a really interesting bit, if you find quotes from it that you want to pop up, then do do that within this team. Uh, I think this would be a nice place to start having some more debates. I think I struggled with this book to find anything really to discuss. Uh, so it was a bad first choice, bad Jess. But we all make mistakes. We are imperfect people living an imperfect people existence. 
So hopefully there will be a little bit more to discuss around the next book. But I know some of you are just using this as accountability for uh, re a little bit more reading this year and to not have to make the decisions around which book to read next, which I find really useful <laughs> too. Uh, I'll see you later. What did you think?